Okay, hello everyone, this is Tomboy Gamer XL, and here we are with Let's Play Nicole Part 2. So, in the last episode, we didn't do really anything, but we saw one of our, our roommate, and I think that was the only thing worth taking note for. Anywho, let's keep this thing going. So now we're in the tutorial, and we're going to do this. Tutorial, in the next screen, you'll see several places that you can visit. In each place, depending on the time of the day and day of the week you'll be able to do different activities. Standard Otome game rules, just remember that everybody. Each activity can raise one of the stats on the left, let you find more clues about the mystery, or simply refill your energy morale. So I don't, I really only know what some of these mean. I know what zeal, diligence, and wit are, but amity I've never heard of before. When the morale of the en or the energy is low, You'll perform worse at each activity. In that case, go back to your do mm. go back to your dorm and rest. Sorry about that. Right now, you can't do any job, but later in the game, you'll be able to work part time to greatly increase the stats and earn money to spend. There are different endings depending on who y who you romance and if you solve the mystery or not. Try to see them all. Good luck. Okay, so anywho, that was basically the Otome game explaining its morale as winter. The creators of this winter usually does that for a lot of their games. So we can pick a place to go. I'm gonna go with the place I would go any day of the week given this situation. And that would be the cafeteria. Because when push comes to shove, food is good for me. The biggest cafeteria on campus where everyone goes to eat, drink, or spend some time with friends. We can drink something or socialize with people. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Let's go in and let's see. Please click on an image above to view more info on that specific item. Double click to do the activity. Okay, this is something we do to boost morale, but of course with that it costs us money and it looks like we're go here any other day and then we can socialize with people and that will bring up our amity which we can go which will work let's go to the campus all right here we can socialize with people again amity and I'm guessing that's for one of the boys oops stupid backwards thing all right anywho we can't do it after dark basically and about ask about the disappearances we can get eight, five to eight clues, but our morality and stuff will go down. And we can do it any day of the week, as long as, but once it's the afternoon, we all can't do it anymore. Okay, let's go to the classroom. Extra classes, let's go. No extra classes, and what'll that do? That'll bring up our wits. And we can do it any day. Looks like we can only do it. Saturday and Sunday. That works. That makes sense though, because you wouldn't want to go there on Sunday. But we're not going to probably do this much because I'm not going to pick a boy who wants to go into that freaking classroom. That's ridiculous and crazy. Let's go to the library. We can search through old newspapers. I'm guessing this is something for clues. Yep. We can do it up until sunset, but we can't do it during dusk, and we can do it literally any day of the week. So that's one thing we can do when we can't ask about the disappearances. Now the football field. We can be cheerleaders. Oh, dear God. No. No, 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 no. We're, we're not doing that. But we'll see what that does. That brings up our zeal, which, yeah, which is why the hell would it bring up the zeal? Anyway, we can do it Saturday and Sunday, but we can only do it in the morning and the afternoon. That's it. But that would make sense because you, all this is making a lot of sense. Now let's go to the park. Let's see, we can do a lot of things here. <laughs> Look at the dog drop it. Okay, that'll bring up diligence. Can't see why, but okay. And we can do it morning, afternoon, sunset. Then we can relax in nature. And <laughs> but it, all it does is bring up morale and energy. We'll probably do this when we really need to just chill. We just need a moment to ourselves. We can do it in the dusk, but we can do it every other day in time. And we can observe the people. <laughs> oh. We can also observe the people. And we can do it any time until dusk. And I think uh, we go to the convenience store. I think we can go home, go on home and have a basic selection for the convenience store. 
can buy a snack. That'll obviously bring up morale and energy. And we can do it every time except for sunset, but that's fine. Then we can check the customers. And <laughs> I swear, we're looking real suspect doing all that. Yeah, we can go home. Let's see what we can do. We can t oh my god, none of this except for this. This is probably what we're going to do a lot of days. We're going to take naps. <laughs> As for tidying up our room, that'll be probably the one thing we don't do. Okay, I didn't find anything with zeal. I don't... I, I, that's, anyone else notice it? Did I just overlook it? But Anywho, let's find something to do. <laughs> We're gonna look for some copper like and clues. We're going to the convenience store. And we're gonna... What did I get this? We're gonna look at people. <laughs> because we can. <laughs> okay. So there are different, as you notice, when the day goes by, apparently. Goes by pretty normal. Someone told me we had to have a certain amount of uh, stats to gain certain boys, but that, that goes without saying. That's how all these games work. I guess we could go... Why would he go in the bathroom? Um, maybe that was what we missed. Bathroom and then bubble bath. Okay, that's what gives us zeal. We missed that. I am so sorry. But we can all look like we can do it, and we can get zeal and everything. So, why not? My skin is so silky smooth after a long soak. <laughs> this game is too, too much for me. Okay, but the bathroom thing comes up. I, I see things, certain things pop up after night that we can do in that certain time period. So movie night. We could always go in there, get some Amity, chill. I don't know what boys we can get yet because they haven't introduced any of them to us. So I don't know which stats to raise. And we can examine night activities look super suspect, but that's okay. We might come back to the movie theater, and then we can go to the disco pub. Oh, yeah. We can go dance. I forgot we were in college. I was about to say, drinking? You crazy. I was about to say crazy. I'm sorry. No, no, we, we can drink, too. I swear you look like a fucking sophomore. Ah, then we can drink something. I wouldn't really want to drink in a disco pub because there's no telling who's sitting there waiting for me to just look so freaking drunk and just start opening my legs. That's that's not going to work. Especially with these people kidnapping. Alright. Then we can look for suspicious behavior. Again, one of the random things we'll do. And still the bathroom. We can go to the pharmacy. Ugh. I would never buy vitamins, but okay. At least a little boost our energy and morale. We can get some or we could buy a relaxing infusion that does the same thing. This is pretty much where we'll go for healing based items. And then we can go to the restaurant and have ourselves a great dinner. Again, boosting morale. But oh my god, that price tag. I can see if I had three other pe two other people with me. But what restaurant makes me pay a hundred bucks for myself? What are you eating? Oh, fuck. Dude. We're just going to go to the movie then. Okay, that, that, that just ruined my night. We're going to watch a movie. That was amazing. I gotta buy it as soon as it comes out <laughs> out in stores. That's like sounds like me after I watched Despicable Me too. And yes, I am a person who would sit down and watch a movie. Watch a movie intended for kids. Oh, so these are the boys. We can get Kurt, Ted, Jeff, or Darren. L from looks alone, <laughs> I'm guessing I'm gonna probably end up aiming, aiming for Darren. Or maybe Ted. These two, this guy looks like the guy who's usually your standard childhood friend. This one here is probably the jock or the guy who's like, hey baby, what you doing tonight? Just acts like be a fusion with Beavis and Butthead and it wouldn't work out. Ted looks like one of those boys that goes for a cute girl. And Darren probably goes for, because of the glasses, I'm going to assume goes for a girl who's intelligent. So that probably means he has to raise a village of wit. But that we'll figure out as the good days go by. So that was day zero zero. We got Amity morale. Um, we lost two energy and we lost sixteen bucks. But that's okay. That's okay. So another day is ended. Let's see. Let's see how our progress is. Uh, we didn't get any mystery progress. I'm guessing this shows you, and we're only like right here. Technically, we'll probably have to fill the whole bar. Anywho. Tip of the day, feeling tired, go back to your 
platform for a quick nap. It is free, but it will take two game turns. If you have money drinking, if you have money drinking or eating, it will recover your energy and morale much faster. Jesus. Nothing is better than a good night of sleep. Yeah, you got that right. Oh, so we actually got a seat here. Hey, I was pretty happy. Wonder why. This isn't going as well as I thought it would. I take another look at the campus map and I Oh, I'm sorry you guys. I, I know. In the last video, I was just stumbling all over the place. And I still am. I'm so sorry. I'm going to correct that as soon as I can. Anywho, let's keep going. I take another look at the campus map I have pulled up for my phone. Double checking to make sure I'm in the right place. Yeah, I totally am. I mean, I think I am. <sighs> Typical freshman getting lost on campus. And thinking that they're in the right place when in all honesty a freaking upperclassman will pop out of nowhere. And be like, oh, no, 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 wrong building. <laughs> wrong building, wrong floor, wrong area. <laughs> and then poor freshman's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And you're just like, ah, <laughs> Anywho, moving on. I have no clue. Ugh, getting to places is hard. I'm trying to find the building where my bio class is going to be held. I found my other three classes no problem. So I have no idea why I've suddenly lost all sense of direction. Well, you're going in the direction of Zoro. Because apparently, left is weast. And anyone who's watched One Piece or Spongebob will realize that pantheon. Will realize that joke. I think I've been wandering around for like 20 minutes. It feels like it's been longer than that, to be honest. Whatever, I give up. I'm just going to head back to the dorm and ask Chandra if she knows. Wait. Which way is the dorm again? Oh my god. That would be me though. I'd say, wait, 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 wait. There was a dormitory, but where is it? This is so bad. Why does the biology department have to be in such a confusing building layout? I'm going to be stuck here five ever. Whoa, okay. I just know it. What is five ever? I have. I know I'm out of touch, but I know I, I've never heard that in my life. What is that? Anyway, and I'm nev and I'll never find my biology class, and I'm going to flunk out of school, and become that old lady who lives with a million cats for the rest of my life. Okay, now you're just melodramatic. You're just going crazy. I don't even like cats that much. You and me both. I I just can't stand cats. You know what? I hate to pull you the direction of this, but I'm about to rant about a cat. I once had a front best friend. She's my ex best friend now, and she had she told me about this cat. It was. She locks it up in the middle of the day from when I came over to her at the house for the first time. And you want to know what's so weird about it? I'm like, why do you lock your cat up? She says, oh, because he's not very friendly. And then I see it wandering around as I fell asleep. And I'm just thinking, wait, why is it out now? And she tells me some stupid story where that thing scratched the crap out of her best friend, one of her best friends, and I'm just like, okay, so you have people over even though your cat's scratching the crap out of you? And I, after that, I just could never go back to her house, because I saw the cat scratch one of my friends, too, because we all were having a party, and she just scratched the crap out of my friend. We spent like 10 minutes trying to stop it bleeding. Never again. Alright, back to this. I'm right in the middle of my mental breakdown when I hear someone call out to me. At least she's acknowledging the fact that this is obviously a breakdown. Hey, you there. I see a guy approaching. He looks older than I am with chestnut brown hair combed neatly into place. His dark brown eyes meet mine warmly, and he gives me a friendly snap before he begins talking. I'm not trying to be rude, but this, is to be the th <laughs> this has to be the third time I've seen you walk by today. Uh, huh? What? I hold a hand to my face, embarrassed. What? You mean people have been see have seen me wandering around like an idiot? Girl, anyone could see it, I, especially the seniors. Those are the ones who keep out for that. The guy chuckles and holds his hand out to try and console me. Please relax. I'm sure it was only me. Classes haven't started just yet, so there aren't too many people around. I'm Jeff. I'm a second year, <laughs> second year here. I'm gonna. I'm starting to think the school is in Britain now because usually second year doesn't refer in America. We don't usually refer to anything as second year. It's either freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. Usually we don't refer to them as second years. I don't know. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that you're a first year. Yeah. My shoulders sh sag. I bet it was pretty obvious. Yeah, you're right. I'm Nicole. 
I hold out my phone so Jeff can take a look at the school map. I'm trying to get to this building here, see? It's where my bio class is going to be. I want to make sure I don't waste time trying to find it on the first day. Can you imagine if I hadn't done this first? I probably wouldn't have even made it to class in time. Hmm. Jeff tucks the side of his fingers between his lips as he hums in thought. Ah, you're looking for the science lecture hall. That's a staple for life science majors. Everyone takes class here at least once. God, I would never do that. Just because I'm in honors chemistry does not mean I would take a great man, take a major in science. No, no. I'm surprised you didn't know about it. They didn't show the you the buildings when you <laughs> when you toured the school for orientation. It's a big deal in this department. Really? Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm not a life science major. Pre-law, actually. They only gave us a tour of the law school. Well, that'll explain it. Jeff lets out a low whistle. So you're the exact opposite of life sciences, ha ha ha. Take a class for the G. Mm-hmm. I want to make sure I cover all my bases. I wouldn't want to accidentally miss a requirement. Well, it's good to know we have a girl that's actually working hard. We, yeah, we actually, we're actually trying. Ouch, that wouldn't be good. That's rather compared of you, Nicole. I'm jealous. I wish I was like you last year. Yeah, you're right. I don't recall many freshmen who come into college and like, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. No. Usually freshmen are like, it's party time. We gotta get in on this. And then after about a couple of weeks, they're like, you know, college wasn't as laid back as the videos made it look. Anywho. <laughs> well, you know, just starting the game, start the game off right. I'm getting a good feeling about this Jeff guy. He's nice, polite, and without him, I'd probably still be lost with no idea where to go. Have we moved in the last minute? I thought we were just sitting here having a casual conversation, forgetting about every trouble in the world. Technically, I still am right now, but... Hey Jeff, could you do me a huge favor? I place my hands together pleadingly, but Jeff waves away my gesture. You don't have to say it. You need someone to show you the, to the lecture hall, right? Well, you've come to the right place. If there's anything I can do, it's lead the way. I know how hard the first year can be. Getting used to a new place can be quite a challenge. He starts to walk in just just for me to follow him after him. I skip over to his side, listening to Jeff as he goes on. Oh, God. You should be fine, though. If you remember where the landmarks are, like the library or the cafeteria, you'll make your way around cr campus easy enough. Jeff speaks so assuredly that I start to find confidence in his words. I'm really lucky to have bumped into him. Maybe he can show me the ropes to this place. For now, he just know he just shows me the route to the lecture hall, making small talk all along the way. It's pleasant, nothing too gri gripping. Or is it gripping? I don't know. He just asks questions about where I'm staying, what other classes I'm taking, you know, the basics. Ah, we're here. Ah, great campus. We here. When we eventually reach the lecture hall, I can barely believe it. I know I passed this area at least once. Man, I was so close and didn't even realize it. Oh, that's the ultimate troll. <laughs> that's the ultimate sad face right there. Something tells me this area isn't as new as you thought it would be. Jeff covers his mouth politely as he chuckles at my expense. I don't really mind. I would do the same thing to anyone. Not me. Well, yes, you might. I told you what he says, stuff. I totally walked past this place. Ugh, at least I know where it is now. Thanks, Jeff. I totally owe you one. It wasn't any trouble. I couldn't leave you wandering alone like that. Jeff leans forward excitedly and gestures over to the door. Want to head in and check it out? It's nothing revolutionary, but I <laughs> personally think the inside is very snazzy. He seems so excited by the idea that I'm drawn in as well, and I agree that taking a look inside wouldn't hurt. Jeff's right when he says the inside isn't anything special, but I have to admit that it's a nicely made building. I think it's because it's so modern. The seats don't look creaky, and the flooring looks presentable. What do you think? A great place to learn, right? I guess. It's not like I'm going to be paying attention to whether the walls ma match the carpet during class. Very true. At least I hope you don't. Not if, if it's going to distract you from the teacher. Ugh, oh, if this is how college life really is, I am going to fail. Because honestly, I would stare at the walls and be like, ugh, oh, carpet and those walls. They're horrible. Jeff thoughtfully rubs his chin. Say, what class are you taking, and with whom? Oh, um... I tell him the name of the class, of my class, and the person teaching it. It's lucky I was able to remember that from the top of my head. 
Ah, so the bio class for non-bio majors. I should have known. I actually worked in your professor's lab. Oh, like an internship? It's common to do after your first year. The professor is a nice fellow. Not too difficult as long as you do the work and do your best to understand. Then again, what professor isn't like that? Jeff laughs, <laughs> Jeff laughs at his own joke. He sure sounds like he's had a lot of experience around here. It makes me feel like such a noob. You know what's making me feel like a noob? I don't recall oh, so many music basically going on and off like that. Unless it usually goes off when there's a moment of tension or you need to pay attention to the music or something weird is happening. But this, the music goes off and on randomly. Do you mind if I ask what your major is, Jeff? I don't think you ever told me. Me? I don't mind at all. I'm a pharmacologist. Whoa! Pharma <laughs> pharmacologist. Pharmacology major here. That's like medicine, all that jazz, right? No, the word pharma would not have tipped you off. A beat passes. I look at Jeff to see if anything's the matter, and I see him smiling at me, but the corner of his mouth is twitching ever so si slightly. <laughs> Around these lines, yes. Though it's more about biology and how drugs affect the affect this biology than medicine and all that jazz. Whoops, I'm sorry. Another bout of forced laughter force follows after that. Did I touch a nerve? Nah, I must be imagining it. But hmm, pharmacology seem seems like the type of study that's super complicated. And it probably is. It sounds interesting, it sounds hard. What's with the yellow text? Oh, we're supposed to pick something. Oh I'm stupid. Well, you know what? I feel like this is a good place to cliffhanger. <laughs> so what will we pick next game? You will have to decide. So I'll see you in the next part of Let's Play Nicole Part 3. I'm Tomboy Gamer. Peace out.